Yes, this is Suspicious Sand, not the one that I showed in the last video. Snapshot 23W07A I honestly think will go down in history as one of the most fascinating content-driven snapshots of all time. And I don't want to waste your time too much with this busy lifestyle. If you want to go through everything, I'll leave my Twitch highlight video in the description. Hopefully there won't be any ads. I will touch base briefly on everything. One thing that hasn't really been mentioned in the grand scope of things is this new entity that is called the Interaction Entity. It's not a new mob. It's not the sniffer, but let me show you what this looks like. It's the coolest looking thing ever. Do you see it? Now do you see it? It's right there. This is a hologram or an invisible entity that can be scaled, can be increased, decreased in size. Essentially what this is, is right click detection and left click detection. No longer need to use friggin' carrot on a stick. And again, I don't want to bore you with the technical details, but if you look at this, you got width, height, and if I right click it, Something new happens. Yo. Hey. Now the reason this works is because if I now grab the information, it says interaction. It has detected that I've right clicked the box. So we have a few other inclusions. Of course, we have the biome, Cherry Grove, through this command. We've got the new trees, new wood types, petals. Interestingly enough, I was told by Slice Lime that this is not renewable, which means you can't farm them. I don't mind this. I think this should be rare because, I mean, they're gorgeous. I think anyone's going to try to get these. So with this new tree type, which I absolutely adore. New doors, new boats. I was asked to spawn a boat at the end of my live stream last night. I was unable to do that. There's the uh, cherry boat. I'm so good at showcasing features. Okay, now we have the sniffer, which I believe could be voiced by Slice Lime himself. I think it's Slice Lime. And you can ride him with the command, by the way. And when you ride the sniffer, you end up being inside the bush area. Why don't you sniff... The seeds. Hey, we have torch flower seeds, which you can farm. Thank you. Good job. Now mate. They don't want to mate. And then they'll grow into torch flowers. Like that. So punch. And you got your torch flower. And no. They don't give off light. Completely empty. No light source. But anyway, we now come to the fun part. Archaeology. Now the two main areas where suspicious sand spawn are the desert pyramids and desert wells. I'm not going to get into that because I feel as though these things will probably change, but I will humor you with what it feels like to actually do this. The way all of this works is you craft a string pickaxe with this, and then you just hold right click. And I've got an emerald here. And you can just hold it. You don't have to be careful with it. Like don't punch it because they are very quick to break. This is sand now. This is sufficient sand. You just hold it and you can get a pottery shard. This is the only one that comes up in Desert Wells. Arms up pottery. Now the brush has 64 durability, which is expected. And no, you cannot brush your teeth with it. But you can brush other blocks if you like. It won't do anything though. Uh, you can brush this. You can brush... No, you can't brush the water. One thing to note is that the side of the block that you brush it on is the side of the block that the item will emerge from. So if I go here, the emerald will come out this side. And yes, they are fragile. Even a one block drop will break it. So knowing that when you brush suspicious sand like this, it becomes regular sand once again. I've run a series of commands that will break this block in unholy ways. Watch this. All I have to do, it's so simple, is just hold right click on this block forever. And I have created an infinite sus sand that will simply create the longest stick in the world. In my live stream last night, the one block, the one item that everyone wanted me to put inside the suspicious sand was an end rod. And so I thought to myself, in what unique way can I implement this such that it won't cause a riot in the comment section of this video? You know, the most dubious, morally questionable things that I could possibly read about end rods. And I was like, yeah, I'll do this. So anyway, when I stop and then look up, you can see that I've created a very long stick on a block. That's It's just sticking out of the block. That you can definitely ride on, but I would advise against it. 